has been a very active uh, last few days. Played at the State Theater. I was very nervous, but it went pretty good. And then I went to the Minnesota Wild game, and they won, which was... And here I am at my favorite places. I love records. I love record stores. I spend way too much money on, at the Fetus. I'm losing money on this gig, basically. I resisted CDs forever. And then I started buying CDs, and then the streaming thing. I just, I maintained my record collection, and I only listen to vinyl now. And it's just, I think it's interesting, because maybe if you really like music, it's probably worth getting off the couch and flipping the record over. I used to hang out at Orfolk Joke Fest all the time. All the time. So I love record stores and I, I like the sense of community. <laughs> it's strange and exciting because they, they're sold out. Like they went, we got to the fetus and they're like, those records are all gone already. So that that's pretty cool. And just the doing the thing at the State Theater, which was reimagining what that record is. I like to play loud and fast and hard, but I've managed to also, uh, it's really the same instrument, an acoustic guitar, you know, just as you can hear people talking and stuff, so I might have to tell somebody to pipe down. <laughs> in New Orleans. Uh, it's great to be back in Minneapolis. I mean, you know, my friends and my family are here. I get more nervous about playing here. I just want it to, to be good. I don't know. I want to embarrass my friends. It's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I like it. it. It feels... it. It's different than playing a, like a show. But it's, a, it's like, a, do I look comfortable? Because I'm comfortable around records, you know? And so we're all kind of here for the same reason. All this delicious vinyl or whatever they call it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's cool. I mean, I uh, enjoy uh, playing music for people and I enjoy listening to music. So, yeah, I guess it's a win-win. And, and the wild one, so I'm three for three. Oh.